Welcome to this transformative self-coaching program designed to help you integrate and heal the pattern and beliefs of lack of emotional alignment with manifestation and the law of attraction. This is an emotional EMDR mini course whose goal is to guide you through a process of understanding, reframing, and building resilience to this pattern and beliefs. It is recommended that you use this program in full screen mode, while sitting still and upright. Follow the movements of the ball or pattern on the screen with your eyes. As the words from the audio are spoken, notice the feelings they evoke in your body and any mental images that may arise. If your mind starts to wander, gently redirect your focus back to the moving ball or pattern. Optionally, or if you are not able to use video, you can also tap on one or more EFT points. How it works. In step one, we evoke the distressful emotional state of the belief or pattern. Note. This can be emotionally triggering. Take full responsibility for your well-being. In step 2, we offer ourselves loving, compassionate self-acceptance for this state and beliefs. We then reframe the belief, pattern or state with new positive suggestions to the mind. We then bridge the mind into the new, more positive reality. We finally express gratitude for the new positive reality, taking it as fact. Ready. Section 1. Unpacking Emotional Experiences. We begin with a setup of the issue. Even though I struggle with this pattern, I choose to still deeply love, honor and accept myself, and I am open to a more empowering state of being. Take a deep breath. Every time I try to manifest abundance, I'm overwhelmed by a deep-seated fear of remaining in financial scarcity. I feel unworthy of love and success, which contradicts my desires for meaningful relationships and professional achievements. Despite my efforts to visualize success, anxiety clouds my vision, making it feel out of reach. I'm constantly battling feelings of jealousy when I see others achieving what I desire which I know blocks my own manifestations. Deep down, I harbor resentment from past failures, making it hard to believe in new possibilities. I struggle with the belief that I don't deserve happiness, which sabotages my attempts to manifest it. I'm often impatient, wanting immediate results, which leads to frustration and doubt in the law of attraction. I find it hard to let go of control and trust the universe, making me anxious about the outcomes of my manifestations. My fear of change makes it difficult to embrace the new opportunities I try to manifest. I'm skeptical about the effectiveness of affirmations because they feel disingenuous when I'm struggling emotionally. I feel stuck in a cycle of negative thinking, which I know repels the positive outcomes I'm trying to attract. I often feel like a victim of circumstances, which contradicts the empowered mindset needed for manifestation. My attempts to practice gratitude are overshadowed by a focus on what's missing in my life. I find it difficult to maintain a positive emotional state, which I know is key to attracting what I desire. Past traumas resurface, creating a barrier to aligning my emotions with my intentions for healing and growth. I'm easily influenced by the skepticism of others, which dampens my belief in my ability to manifest. My desire for material success often feels shallow, lacking the emotional depth needed for true manifestation. I struggle with visualizing my desires as reality, which makes it hard to evoke the necessary emotions to attract them. I feel overwhelmed by mental clutter, preventing me from focusing on and aligning with my desires. I'm caught in a cycle of stress and worry, which I know lowers my vibrational energy and hinders manifestation. I often feel disconnected from my true desires, making my manifestation efforts feel misaligned and fruitless. My fear of both success and failure paralyzes me, keeping me from moving forward with my intentions. I struggle to find the emotional balance necessary for effective manifestation, often swinging between extremes. I feel like an imposter when trying to manifest, as if I'm pretending to be someone I'm not. I find it hard to release emotional blocks through techniques like meditation, EMDR or EFT. Tapping, journaling, or breathwork, leaving me stuck in my negative emotions. Section 2. Feel into this balanced, compassionate perspective of your higher self. 
Maintain your attention on the EMDR screen, following the movements of the shape or pattern with your eyes. It's perfectly natural to feel fear when stepping towards abundance. Acknowledging this fear with kindness is a step towards understanding it more deeply. Feeling unworthy is a shared human experience, and it's okay to hold space for these feelings while gently reminding yourself of your inherent worth. Anxiety about reaching success is a sign of how much you care about your dreams, and it's okay to embrace these feelings with patience and compassion. It's human to feel jealousy, and it's a signal for us to explore our own desires and capabilities with love and acceptance. Resentment from past failures is a part of your journey, and it's okay to hold these feelings tenderly as they point towards areas for healing and growth. Believing you don't deserve happiness is a heavy burden, and it's okay to gently acknowledge these feelings as a step towards inner peace. Impatience for results is understandable in a world that values speed, and it's okay to slow down and be gentle with yourself. The struggle to let go and trust is a common challenge, and it's okay to approach this with patience and self-compassion. Fear of change is a natural protective instinct, and it's okay to comfort yourself as you navigate through new opportunities. Skepticism towards affirmations is valid, especially during tough times, and it's okay to acknowledge these doubts with kindness. Being stuck in negative thinking patterns can be frustrating, and it's okay to offer yourself understanding and compassion during these times. Feeling like a victim is a sign of past hurts needing attention, and it's okay to hold these feelings with care and gentleness. Focusing on what's missing is a common human tendency, and it's okay to gently remind yourself of the good that is also present. Struggling to maintain a positive state is part of the human experience, and it's okay to meet yourself with kindness and empathy. Past traumas can be overwhelming, and it's okay to offer yourself compassion and patience as you work through aligning your emotions with your intentions. Being influenced by others' skepticism is natural, and it's okay to hold your beliefs and doubts with understanding and compassion. Desiring material success is a part of your human experience, and it's okay to explore these desires with curiosity and kindness. Difficulty visualizing desires as reality is common, and it's okay to approach this challenge with patience and gentleness. Feeling overwhelmed by mental clutter is a sign of a busy life, and it's okay to seek moments of peace and self-compassion. Being caught in stress and worry is a natural response to challenges, and it's okay to offer yourself understanding and kindness. Feeling disconnected from true desires can be disheartening, and it's okay to explore this feeling with curiosity and compassion. Fear of success and failure is part of the journey towards growth, and it's okay to hold these fears with gentleness and understanding. Struggling for emotional balance is a common human challenge, and it's okay to approach this with patience and self-care. Feeling like an imposter is a sign of your aspirations, and it's okay to embrace these feelings with empathy and self-compassion. Finding it hard to release emotional blocks is a part of the healing process, and it's okay to be patient and kind to yourself as you explore different techniques. Section 3. Visualizing Positive Change. Take a deep breath. I am choosing now to embrace my journey towards abundance with courage, seeing each fear as a stepping stone towards greater financial freedom. I am open to the possibility of love and success, affirming my worthiness for profound relationships and professional fulfillment each day. I could consider that my anxiety is a contrast guiding me towards a clearer vision of success, which I am now starting to feel within reach. It would be nice if I could view others' achievements as inspiration, fueling my journey towards my own manifestations with joy and anticipation. It is possible that my past failures are valuable lessons, enriching my path with wisdom and opening my heart to new beginnings. I can start to cultivate a deep-seated belief in my right to happiness, nurturing it with daily affirmations of self-love and worth. I am willing to explore the power of patience, understanding that meaningful manifestations unfold in divine timing. I have the opportunity to practice surrender, trusting in the universe's plan for me, and finding peace in the unknown. I am capable of welcoming change with open arms, seeing it as the universe's way of offering me the growth I seek. I embrace the idea of affirmations as seeds of emotional strength 
planting them with sincerity and watching them bloom. I am ready to break the cycle of negative thinking, opening my heart to the abundance of positivity that awaits. I am beginning to see myself as the creator of my reality, stepping out of victimhood and into empowerment with grace and confidence. I am receptive to finding gratitude in the present moment, letting it illuminate the abundance that already surrounds me. I am shifting towards maintaining a positive emotional state, understanding that it is the magnet for my deepest desires. I am open-minded about healing from past traumas, inviting in light and love to align my emotions with my intentions for growth. I am allowing myself to hold my beliefs in the face of skepticism, strengthening my faith in my manifesting abilities. I can imagine my material desires being fulfilled in a way that brings true joy and satisfaction, grounding them in heartfelt purpose. It might be beneficial to visualize my desires vividly, feeling the joy of their realization and drawing them closer to me. I am prepared to declutter my mind, creating a serene space within for focusing on and aligning with my true desires. I am choosing to focus on calm and clarity in moments of stress, raising my vibration and aligning with my manifestations. I am open to the possibility of reconnecting with my true desires, ensuring my efforts are in perfect alignment with my soul's calling. I can see the potential for embracing both success and failure as catalysts for growth, moving forward with courage and optimism. I am becoming more aware of the power of emotional balance in manifestation, finding harmony within that reflects in my external world. I am starting to believe that authenticity in manifesting brings the deepest fulfillment, shedding the imposter syndrome with self-acceptance. I am ready to let go of emotional blocks, trusting in the healing power of meditation, EMDR, and EFT. Tapping and other techniques to liberate my heart. Section 4. Bridging the journey from acknowledgement to transformation. Remember to maintain your focus on the EMDR screen following the movements of the shape or pattern with your eyes. Even though I'm overwhelmed by fear of financial scarcity, I acknowledge this fear with kindness and choose now to embrace my journey towards abundance with courage. While I feel unworthy of love and success, I hold space for these feelings and am open to affirming my worthiness for profound relationships and professional fulfillment. Though anxiety clouds my vision of success, I see it as a guide towards clarity and could consider this contrast as a path to feeling success within reach. Although I battle jealousy, I view it as inspiration and it would be nice if I could fuel my journey towards my own manifestations with joy. Despite harboring resentment from past failures, I see them as valuable lessons and am open to the possibility of enriching my path with new beginnings. Even when I struggle with the belief that I don't deserve happiness, I start to cultivate a belief in my right to happiness, nurturing it daily. While impatience for results can be frustrating, I am willing to explore patience, understanding that meaningful manifestations unfold in divine timing. Though it's hard to let go and trust the universe, I have the opportunity to practice surrender and find peace in the unknown. Despite my fear of change, I am capable of welcoming it as an opportunity for growth offered by the universe. Even when affirmations feel disingenuous, I embrace them as seeds of emotional strength and am ready to watch them bloom. While stuck in negative thinking, I am ready to break the cycle, opening my heart to the positivity that awaits. Although I often feel like a victim, I am beginning to see myself as the creator of my reality, stepping into empowerment with confidence. When attempts to practice gratitude are overshadowed, I am receptive to finding gratitude in the present, illuminating the abundance around me. Though maintaining a positive state is challenging, I am shifting towards it, understanding it attracts my deepest desires. Despite past traumas resurfacing, I am open-minded about healing, inviting in light and love for growth. While influenced by skepticism, I am allowing myself to hold my beliefs, strengthening my faith in manifesting. If my desire for material success feels shallow, I can imagine it being fulfilled in a way that brings true joy, grounding it in purpose. Though visualizing my desires is hard, it might be beneficial to visualize vividly, drawing them closer with joy. When overwhelmed by mental clutter, I am prepared to declutter my mind, creating space for true desires. 
Despite cycles of stress, I am choosing to focus on calm and clarity, raising my vibration for alignment. If I feel disconnected from true desires, I am open to reconnecting, ensuring my efforts align with my soul's calling. When fear of success and failure paralyzes, I can see the potential for embracing both as catalysts for growth. Even if finding emotional balance is tough, I am becoming more aware of its power in manifestation, finding internal harmony. Though feeling like an imposter, I am starting to believe in authenticity's fulfillment, shedding imposter syndrome with acceptance. When releasing emotional blocks is hard, I am ready to let go, trusting in healing techniques to liberate my heart. If you were tapping, you can stop as we go into gratitude. Section 5. Preemptive Gratitude for Transformation. I am grateful for the abundance that flows effortlessly into my life, reflecting my inner alignment and trust in the universe. I cherish the love and success that surround me, recognizing them as manifestations of my inherent worth and dedication. I am thankful for the clarity and peace within me, allowing me to visualize and attract my deepest desires with ease. I appreciate the joy and inspiration I find in the achievements of others, enriching my journey towards my own goals. I am grateful for the lessons learned from past experiences, as they have paved the way for new beginnings filled with hope and possibility. I warmly embrace the happiness that is my birthright, celebrating the daily affirmations of self-love and worth that nurture my soul. I am thankful for the patience I've cultivated, understanding that each moment of waiting is a step closer to the fulfillment of my dreams. I appreciate the trust I've developed in the universe's plan for me, finding solace in the beauty of life's unfolding mystery. I am grateful for my courage to embrace change, seeing it as the universe's invitation to grow and expand beyond my current boundaries. I cherish the sincerity in my affirmations, feeling their truth resonate deeply within, strengthening my emotional foundation. I am thankful for breaking free from the cycle of negative thinking, welcoming an abundance of positivity and light into my life. I appreciate my empowerment, stepping out of victimhood into a life where I am the conscious creator of my reality. I am grateful for the abundance present in each moment, finding gratitude that highlights the beauty and fullness of my life. I cherish the positive emotional state I maintain, attracting my deepest desires with the magnetism of my joy and gratitude. I am thankful for the healing and growth I've experienced, aligning my emotions with my intentions in a dance of light and love. I appreciate my resilience against skepticism, holding firm to my beliefs and the power of my manifesting abilities. I am grateful for the depth and joy in my material success, grounded in a heartfelt purpose that enriches my soul. I cherish the vividness of my visualizations, drawing my desires closer with the joy of their imminent realization. I am thankful for the clarity and focus I've found, creating a serene inner space that aligns perfectly with my true desires. I appreciate the calm and clarity that replace stress and worry, raising my vibrational energy to align with the universe's abundance. I am grateful for reconnecting with my true desires, ensuring my manifestation efforts are in perfect harmony with my soul's calling. I cherish the growth that comes from embracing both success and failure, moving forward with optimism and courage. I am thankful for the emotional balance I've achieved, reflecting a harmonious internal state that manifests in my external world. I appreciate my authenticity in manifesting, finding fulfillment in being true to myself and shedding any feelings of imposter. I am grateful for the freedom from emotional blocks, trusting in the power of healing to open my heart to endless possibilities. Section 6. Closing and Next Steps. Take a deep, rejuvenating breath. Congratulations on completing this transformative session. Take a note of how you feel in comparison to how you started and consider journaling your notes about this session and any areas you'd like to explore. Be attentive to the potential reduction in the emotional weight of certain memories and actual circumstance shifts in your daily life. Note that it may take one, several or many uses of this program to completely clear or reframe this pattern and beliefs. This program and affirmations serve to fortify your inner journey toward a more empowered state. Feel free to revisit them whenever you need to. For more details, 
See the link in the bio or description below.